You found a jump booster. Awesome. All right. Mid-air jump. Boy, that looks kind of fishy over there, but there's going to be a lot of fishiness in this game. But can't do much there. So, yep, we got a double jump, and now you know. I mean, we've been looking at places where we can't quite reach, so that's perfect. And if we go look at our status screen, we see our uh, cute little robot here. And you can, uh, down here on these black squares by the 14 hit points, you can see that I have one. We have a lot of power-ups to go, which is awesome. But we have the jump booster pointing to our shoes. And we can disable it if we wanted to, but why would you ever want to disable the power-ups? I think it's just cool that you can, in case maybe you could get stuck somehow if you... I don't know. But it's cool that it'll give you that option, just in case. And now the music begins again, because the boss has been defeated, and now we're in like kind of like... Section 2 of level 1, if you want to say. I mean, that's never really properly correct because this game is completely interconnected. But in terms of the pathway that we're taking, you know, we're here. And indeed, and indeed there is a save point to the left, so that's not incorrect. And again, new area, even though it's the same mine cave section. We have this uh, reddish-pink um, mushrooms. And as you saw from the Queen Beetle, we couldn't hit that thing until its weak point was exposed. And you hear like the awesome ricochet sound, which now you know that means I can't, my blaster is just not enough for it. So we can't seem to hit this guy. Ooh, blue, blue blocks. Maybe he can, no, that didn't work either. All right. What do we got here? Ooh boy, ooh, spiders, Oh. Okay, quite strong spiders with four hit points and we can't go any further. Let's just leave this alone. There isn't too much reason to, sh to kill enemies except for them to get out of your way. They don't drop hit points. That's why save points are, are frequent and they immediately charge your hit points because you can't just get energy pickups from enemies. There's no ammo and there are no energy um, pickups, which I really actually kind of, it's kind of refreshing. It's, it's simp it simplifies things, but let me tell you, this game's combat is still complex with the way that the, uh, they throw things at you. The enemies are, are I think, fairly well designed and again we are in another roadblock we're seeing blue blocks there we're seeing blue blocks down in the bottom here and we can't smash those with anything so we got red blocks pink blocks yellow blocks and blue blocks oh my i can't believe that's a tongue twister <laughs> and another weird enemy i'm just gonna just try to get out of here yeah that's definitely a little bit of a tricky spot now we know down there will lead to the blue block area so it will just be a trap we don't want to fall so we're not going to fall Oh, just can't quite make that. And I bet that's designed that you just can't quite hit that. Oh, we can do this here, but again, we're, we're done here. And we see a little blue hump right there. Again, I, you know, who knows? That seems kind of suspicious. We've seen that a few times. What's that about? Even a little monument, little, like, little pedestal here, it looks like. Pedestal. Hmm. In any case, would you look at that? We looped back, and now we loop back, and we have a double jump. So now we can explore areas that we previously couldn't that are a little bit more vertical for us. Um, we could go back and what I would do in an original playthrough would be walking all the way back to where we started and see if we could reach different areas. I'm gonna save us time and know that I don't think we can reach anything um, special now. I don't believe so. So we're gonna hop right over here and now we're in the uh, next section and probably the main path where they expect you to move. All right, we know you, green is poison. And uh, it looks like we're going to get a little exercise for our... Double jump. Ooh, and we see something in the walls there. Looks like a floppy disk. Not sure if we can... Uh, okay, maybe we can reach that gray block from here. Oh! Whoop! <laughs> oh, perhaps not. Oh, and down there, that certainly looks like that looks different than the regular floor on the left side. That looks like you can go down there, but that's poison, so I'm not going to risk that. That looks like that would hurt uh, rather quick, and uh, hmm. Okay, so these type of platforms that look like these thin gray checkered ones, you can jump through them from behind, from below, but you can't go from above to go under, and these are opposite. So now we know what those look like. They're teaching us this, this in this room where there's no danger. So that's how you learn. It, that it's 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 great. Um, and yeah, and now we know that. Oh, and already we really got some Metroid-esque going because we have an elevator. And 
I'm not sure what we're going to find here with this elevator, but perhaps we're going to... Hmm. Well, let's take the right out before. The right... Let's see. Red... Well, we can go take a right. Let's take a spin to the right. Let's just check it out. Oh, an entirely new area, and with that we get new music. And a save point? Or... No, we can't use this. Well, what's this say here? Okay, interesting. So they're saying that there's a lot of stations that are completely just, the environment has taken its toll, where things are flooded completely and the volcanic sector is completely incinerated. So uh, this must be the volcanic sector, judging by the music. So let's see what we got. Oh, okay, yeah, this is too hot for our skin. Yep, that's, nope. We're not heading there. Um, not, not right now, that looks a little dangerous, so. That's okay, so we have two options right now. We could explore to the right, but it might be a kamikaze mission, so let's uh, let's head up. And it's also uh, amusing that this is dead silent. It's just, uh, it's just, very, it's just very cool how they do things like this. And this is the pink room, so everything is, is uh, sectioned off by area. You can kind of see that. Okay. Like a mine shaft of some sort, little buggies. They're not too weak. We're kind of judging by the hit points that it takes for them to die. How is how um maybe we shouldn't be here or should be here. And I love this this ambience that's playing right now. It's like this hum of computers. It gives a very mysterious and a bit of an eerie feeling. So we got another monitor to read about. Okay, so this is a temple area, and this was here before the station was built. Meaning that this is actually like kind of a natural, original part of this planet piece, or what have you. So, maybe there's... Okay, that's that's interesting. And another blue block. So that's three blue blocks, and I'm not going to be able to keep track of that, but remember this. When we can break blue blocks, we can maybe check this out. Certainly a curious little spot. Okay, and these like these little translucent glass tubes. That's kind of nice. Okay, so we can't go anywhere to the right unless we have blue blocks. Down to the right is the volcanic sector, which is too hot for our poor little robot. So we need um, to just explore this way. I think we have no other real choice. And we've got poison and the save. Oh, and this is a different type of ambience. This is seems even more sinister. The other one was eerie and mysterious. This is just downright sinister. This like real low drone of a hum, and it's not. This game is very not. It's not handholdy whatsoever. This is just a little piece. A lot of these things are just lore. Oh, this is just help. So we can skip dialogue that we already read, and that's helpful to know in case we uh, have to repeat things, which may happen. So okay, we got to save. And uh, is this a force field? that's gonna hurt me. Can't shoot it. Let's take a hit. We just saved, right? Oh, it's okay. It's a gravity uh, well of some sort. Can we uh, can we trick it a little bit? Can we like drop down to it? No. Okay, looks like we can't do anything there. So we got another utility gate. I think that might be four or five utility gates that we've experienced, and we still we see another one of these blue capsules that we can't do anything with. So it's just it's just constant. Um, but I think that's the exciting part, and you, we will explore everything. Don't you worry. So we just saved. And I don't know about you, but if you look on the left of that green right here, this looks like an open spot. So I think we're going to check this out. Let's just, uh, let's just a little bit of, uh, risk. Oh, it doesn't hurt too bad. It hurts a little bit, but, oh yeah, nice, look at that. Alright, so this is either going to kill us or lead us somewhere. What in the hell? Okay, you can shoot pink blocks. Good to know. And uh, what is this? This is. This doesn't look like the space station. Uh, I don't know about you. This looks a little odd. Okay, there. Well, maybe it is the space station. There is a monitor. All right. 
Pillar 2 has now been unlocked. Uh, come again? Pillar 2 is open. Uh, Alright, well, we've opened Pillar 2. I don't know what that is, and uh, that's kind of probably intended, but we found this area, and this was secret. It looked like it was very, like, pretty secret. You might not see this the first time, so... Pillar 2 is open, guys, and okay. Oh! Ex total loop back. Nice. Alright, well... I guess we can explore just a little bit more up here and see if we find, um... We'll save it again to get some of our hit points back, and then we'll uh, go higher up here. Because really, un except for the volcanic sector, we really can't... Whoa! Jeez! Stinking thwomp. Yeah, we really can't go anywhere else if we if this doesn't lead anywhere. That's kind of how like my mind would would work here. But now we know that's there, and we that, that's good. <laughs> we could have took some damage there. All right. Oh, oh, there's another one. All right, that's not too too troublesome. No problem. And one jump up here. All right. Okay, we are even further up, so let's let's see what we got. I don't know, this is like, it, it. this has to lead us somewhere. Different music in a different area, and this certainly uh, has a bit of a foreboding feel to it, but what is that? That looks like the Class C Guardian that we fought, but it looks a bit uh, worse for wear. This used to be the way to the AI's mainframe, but it's not anymore? Blocked off for security reasons. It's a bit... Oh, the AI is a bit too secure. Okay. This music's really nice. It's really, uh, it is really peaceful, even if it has some foreshadowing uh, elements to it. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I like it. And then we got no music happening, so... I suppose we'll just uh, go back down here. So I guess we could just um, go kamikaze to the... Well, hold on. You know what? We can go up mo another way. And I tell you, I was lost for quite a while in this game because I didn't, for some reason, didn't realize I could go up again here. Quite lost. But thankfully, we know we can now. All right. That looks a little suspicious. Nothing? Okay. Anything on top of the elevator? Nothing? All right. So... We have to go this way. If this way doesn't lead us somewhere, we have to go down to the volcanic sector and just try our luck. Oh, another area. So we are being exposed to numerous areas as soon as we start. And even though it's not underwater, we know that these little tentacle things down here hurt us. So it acts as a little as a little hazard. And we've seen those green grubs before. They fall down and they have two hit points. And yep. So we're learning these enemies because we've already fought them. And this is just beautiful. The way the music plays, it jives per perfectly with these falling petals. Are we like in a treetop? And what's this? It looks like a trash can or like some sort of machinery that's not working. Okay. And these things, oh, they also hop. These things are pretty harmless. They, they take too long to drop, so we're not too uh, concerned. We don't want to kind of preserve our hit points though. Yeah, don't just fight just to fight. Okay. All right, y you made your point. Wow, it just looks like it's just kind of going somewhere. Wow, this is beautiful. Well, maybe this is where we need to go next, because the enemies aren't too tough. And there's a save point. Yeah, oh, pretty little white flowers and everything. Okay. Oh, look at this. See this? You see this little pocket here? Honestly, I, I don't remember everything. I kind of just naturally did that. Save points, save rooms always seem to have a lot of uh, secrets in them. Okay. Ooh. All right. Um, that looks pretty suspicious. I want that green glowing thing. Well, we'll have to see. We'll have to map this out and see where this would lead. That's kind of how we might find it. But this game's at good. This game is good at hiding secrets. It's not always straightforward, even if you think it might be spatial wise. All right. Well, we have the double jump, so we can continue on. Okay. So far, so good. Oh! Huh. Jeez. 
What's that glowing? Is that a knife? Is that a weapon? Oh! No, that's not a weapon. That is not a weapon. That is unweapon. Okay, we're gonna leave that alone. That's a little spinning ball. Oh, frog! I, uh, I don't want to shoot the frog. That's a green bladdy here. <laughs> Are you, uh, okay. All right. This looks rather dangerous. If not the poison, the thing shooting at us, or the um, tentacles down there. This looks very dangerous. I'm not gonna go that way. I think I would die. Okay, good. He can't hit me from here. And uh, I can't jump high. I can't jump any higher. And there's a little tubey guy right here. Let's see. Okay, we can go this way. Good. All right. So this is the last route. If this route doesn't connect us further, or it's a dead end, we got to go to the lava sector. So, okay, there's some different droppings here. Whoa, what? Oh, shit. The falling white petals hurt. This is dangerous. This is very, very dangerous. We've got to get out of here. We've got to be careful. What's this say? Yeah, the underwater sector is completely submerged and the volcanic sector is completely on fire. That's th great. They're not good. Violent earthquakes. Okay, so we can't go to the water sector. I'm quite sure one would need a hook shot, hook shot to access it. I know some are stored in the volcanic sector. And okay, I'm gonna say you th tell you this. It seems that there there might be a, s a safe area on the other side of the sector. That's the second time they said that about the volcanic sector. I'd have no chance of getting through myself, to heat myself, but somebody else will. So map updated with the location of the hook shot. That's probably a good idea of where we want to go next. So indeed, over here, hook shot located here. So this game has very little hand holding, just little bits and pieces, just so you're not you get you don't get completely lost, which I appreciate. Trust me, it's not it doesn't keep doing this. It does it a few times and then it's kind of like get to this general area. But as you can see, it looks like we got to transverse from this uh the volcanic sector to the hook shot. Looks like that's where we're going. We can't go anywhere else. So, and this looks like this would lead to the secret area behind the save point, but we can't do anything here. So with that said, I'm going to head back to the volcanic sector because otherwise this is just complete backtracking. So we will see you there. All right, here we go to the volcanic sector. Uh, and again, I just want to say it said for the, the hook shot is over here and this same one has said about this volcanic sector that there is a safe area on the other side of the sector. So we're going to guess that maybe we have to brute force our way through this heat and there's a safe area if we go really far. There's two things reinforcing that. So let's go. Ha! Indeed, it's not quite as hot uh, in this section. We made it across, and I love that. Usually you're like, oh, I need some sort of like heat resistance or something. No, that, you just like, you know what, buddy? Go through, and if you don't, if you didn't get that, collect that energy tank for some reason, you're gonna have a hard time. But they expect you to try to just brute force it, and I love that. We did see some possible places we could have explored, but there's just not enough time. And it gave you a good introduction to this, this nice music. This music gives you the feel of a volcanic feel, like the way that it sounds like lava bubbling so pretty neat so welcome to the volcanic sector proper and we can actually explore here and it looks like the hook shot is going to be in our grasp and this is not a blue bug that's a pink bug so now we know pink bugs have two hit points and that kind of stinks all right Ugh, can't quite make that good to remember that we have full hit points we got our double jump so everything seems to be going okay we got to watch out Remember, we only get healed by save points, so... You do have to be extra careful. And I love, like, this trim right here. The way that they, like, kind of separate the cave versus... I don't know, a deeper cave in the background. It's just really spectacular artwork. And look at the gradient, which is just different palette colors of the... of the certain spots of this rock texture. It looks like it gets more, like, hotter as you go closer to the lava, just fantastic. And we don't want to deal with that lava. 
Okay, we can't hit those. Zero. I love that sound, by the way. It's a great way to, to tell you that you can't hit it. We gotta be careful here. They're falling. Hey! Okay. Oh, look at that. There's something up there, it looks like. We can't possibly go that way. Okay. All right, looks pretty dangerous, but I think we can do it. it is yep. Just gotta have a time or jump a little bit there. And this looks like we could screw up easily if we shoot too f quick. We need a platform for each layer. Yep, not too bad. Oh, when in doubt, shoot the wall or just go through it. <laughs> That's probably a good um, life lesson for ECA in terms of to survive this, this environmental station. It looks like an S right there to the left. I wonder if that's intentional. Anyway, let's save it and let's see um, where this leads us. Oh, we can't go back. Oh boy. All right, well, here goes nothing. Again, that music. This can entail many things. It could be a mysterious, unknown secret. It could be uh, an antechamber to a fight. It could be uh, an antechamber to a power up or something that we haven't explored, uh, discovered yet. So let's see. I see some bones and stuff. This doesn't look good. Oh, that doesn't look good at all, guys. Oh yeah, this game is not easy. Uh, I thought I was gonna die there. <laughs> That's the scrapping unit, another boss already. There are lots of bosses and they're all designed quite unique. They're not just the same, like a different one that looks a little different. It, it, they're all re very unique, different patterns. Almost got me. When you're low on health, you'll see that your poor little robot starts to smoke. So uh, we are, we're in trouble. And I'm gonna be wise and go backwards and save. <laughs> because this game... Oh, I can't go back because that was a point of no return with the crumbly wall. So I guess we're not going to do that. And this game can be mean like that. You got to be careful because we did not save. So if we die, we got to fight that boss again. But hey, it looks like we got a uh, an item here. 